Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, October 6th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Squirts. I wonder if this is talking about little children. Hmm. Recipe abbreviation. This could be a tablespoon. World's sunniest city per the World Meteorological Organization. Sunniest city? Hmm. I wonder if it's in a desert somewhere. Interesting. St. Paul, Minnesota radio station whose format should really be all news. Okay, this has to start with a W or a K. It would be funny if it was something like K-N-O-W, right? Um... Squirts. That could be tykes. It is about children. Is this Yuma, Arizona? Is this a paw? What's shaken after the instruction shake? Yeah, that would be a dog's paw. I think this might have been a good guess on this radio station. Okay, let's take a look at our first flung across here. Take a big, daring leap. I guess that could be bungee jump, right? Nice. Notices that trouble is in the air. And this is wordplay, so this is not just about your spidey senses going off. Hmm. Maybe instead of notices being the verb in this sentence, it's actually a plural noun. This could be smog alerts, right? That is pretty funny. Sushi bar appetizer. Hmm. I wonder if it starts with seaweed. Is it a seaweed snack? Hmm. Bizarre. Yeah, that could be weird. Kick out. Shouldn't that be eject? Maybe it's wacky instead? Yeah, let's try eject. Stand in the shadows. That's gotta be lurk. That's on me, an equivalent phrase. I'm to blame? So it's wacko instead of wacky. Okay, I'm to blame. Some debut music projects for short. I think this has to be extended plays. And this is legal writer and political commentator Ellie Mistel. I think we've maybe seen this name once before. Boba Fett, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Give a lift. Yeah, that's going to be a late. Cut out. Hmm. This is tricky. It could be about ceasing to do something. It could be about eliminating a person. Cut out. It could be about leaving also. I wonder if this is flea. Could this be an L? Simpson who was caught lip syncing pieces of me on Saturday Night Live. I guess that was probably Ashley Simpson. So it is flea. Nice. Basic training for short. Would that just be your ABCs? Poor sports reaction. Hmm. Would this be about pouting? Interesting. Movie with saloon fights colloquially. Oh man, so this has to be a colloquial term for westerns? Does it start with horse? I can't exactly remember this term. Voice displeasure in a way. Yeah, that'll be booed. Parish priests in Paris. Ooh. Shouldn't this be pears? Basic training, for short. Like fathers, right? Skip day participants abbreviated. I guess this is seniors. Is this not fathers in French? Poor sports. Hmm. I guess it could start with sour. Is this cures or curés? This does not look familiar to me. Beat it, an equivalent phrase. Hmm, it's not get out. 
or get back. Hmm. Breakneck. Is this a muck? That doesn't feel quite right. It has to be really fast, right? I wonder if it's quick. That would make sense. Balls for teens. Is this about dances? This almost feels like it should be proms. Hmm. Is this an O? Noted example of oligopoly in brief. Oligopoly. Isn't that ruled by the rich? Hmm. Is this a country? I don't know. Nothing more than... Is it just? Oh man. This would be an M for proms. I guess this could be mirror. US agency tracking the most popular baby names. Uh, does this start with an S? What could this be? Baby names? I have no idea. Is this a P? Divvy up by percentage of ownership. Hmm. It's not parcels. By percentage of ownership. Ooh, that's tricky. Curiouser and curiouser speaker. That is Alice, so this is not snack. Okay. Let's put in Alice. And this is probably not quick. So, I have no idea what this is. Hmm. Auto zone. This is wordplay, so it's not about an auto service brand. Auto zone. It's not a lane. Hmm, that's tricky. Beat it. Get lost. I would really want it to be get lost. Oh, so this could be a seaweed salad. There we go. This could be a lot, a parking lot. Encircle with in. That could be hem in. Instruction on some packages. It's not this side up. It seems like this should be a T. Transportation for a bride. This is more wordplay. So I guess it's not about a limousine. Transportation for a bride. What kind of bride are they talking about? Like good posture. I guess that's erect. Huh. Is it a train? Like the train on their gown? That is so tricky. Prefix with lateral. That could be unilateral. Time capsule events. Hmm. When do you bury a time capsule? Or is it just buryings? I don't think that fits. That's a very weird answer anyway. The states to Mexicans. Hmm. This is talking about the United States? L. Well, I like L, but... Hmm. I don't know. This seems a little weird. Let's start up here. Form of attachment. More wordplay. I don't think it's about being attached to another person. Maybe it's a literal form that's attached to something. Hmm. Maybe like an IRS form? I don't know. Sign on a sofa in the front yard? Maybe. Maybe it's just free? You can take it? Distinctive style. That should be flair, probably. City where the conquistador Pizarro was assassinated. It's gotta be in South America somewhere. Maybe it's Lima, Peru? That would make sense. Preferential treatment. Hmm, there's a lot of words for this. They might drive you to a flight. It's not taxis. To a flight. Is it about actually running away? Like fleeing? Hmm. They might drive you to a flight. Man, I don't know. What do we have here? Part of a teacher's job interview. Is it about a lesson? Oof, man. 
spade for one. This could be a hidden proper noun. It could be about David Spade. It could also be about a gardening tool or a playing card. Spade. Hmm. Keyboard abbreviation. I guess that could be escape, right? Minor change. Would that be a scent? That's super tricky. Chloe Gong novel, Blank Violent Delights. Uh, is it These Violent Delights? Fabric made from wood pulp. Fabric from wood pulp? Hmm. I'm not sure if I know this one. Stir up. It's not agitate. Hmm. Some holiday entrees. Yikes. Fabric. Oh, that's tricky. Much desired spot at a concert. Wouldn't that be a front row seat? Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's very helpful. Does some coursework. More wordplay. I don't think this is going to be about schoolwork. Course. I wonder if you're doing a river course. Could it be rows? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Its state symbols include the white pine and the chickadee. It's a state that begins with R. It's not Rhode Island. Uh-oh. I don't think Rose can be right. Does some coursework. Hmm. Man. Stir up. I guess this could be foment if you're stirring up a rebellion. Yeah. Is this rayon? Is that really made from wood pulp? Spade for one. Oh my god, this is talking about Sam Spade, the detective character. He would be a private eye. That is super tricky. It was a hidden proper noun after all. So it's got to be some kind of a lesson, right? I guess it's a demo lesson. They might drive you to a flight. Form of attachment. Okay, it's going to be PDF. Ooh, and this is fears. It is about running away after all. Wow, that is tricky. So this is a favor. That makes sense. Preferential treatment. All right, we buttoned up this corner. Friction to a physicist. Would that be a force? Yeah. It really seems like it wants to be Rose. It's state symbols. Hmm. Gets warmer, say. I guess if you're playing hot and cold, this could be nears, right? You're getting closer. R.A. Nikki Reed's role in the 2003 film 13. 13? I have definitely not seen this movie. Instruction on some packages. Oh, it's this end up, right? Nice, okay. Dual sport. That could be Epe. Fencing. Bit of biodata. I guess that could be age. Yeah. Expert with tips. Is this advice? It's not an advice columnist. It seems like it does have to start with advice, though. Hmm. Man. Experiment subjects, so to speak. Okay, this has got to be guinea pigs, right? This is Evie? Oof, man. I gotta look up what this movie's about. Uh, oh, it's Maine. So this is Moe's course. I guess you're mowing a golf course? That is so tricky. Consideration for NCAA eligibility. I think you have to keep your GPA up to be eligible, yeah. Advice... what? Hmm. Archaeological site. Would that be a ruin? Triple A, triple B, etc. informally. Um, would those be ratings? 
It's not batteries. Hmm. Kind of signal. Yikes, that's very ambiguous. Hold up. I guess this is Rob. You're not delaying someone. Hmm. What in the world is this? Perennial with yellow flower clusters. This doesn't look familiar either. Uh-oh. Kind of signal. Hmm. I guess this has to be an advice guru, right? Is this orgs? Oh my god, it's triple A and the Better Business Bureau. What a tricky clue. So maybe this is a busy signal and this is Tansy? Front row seat. It's not a pansy? Huh. I've never heard of a Tansy before. Divvy up by percentage of ownership. Oof, man. This is very tricky. Is this a horse story? Is that what you call a Western? US agency. Oh boy. Oligopoly. Breakneck. Oh man. This is very tricky. Poor sports reaction. So maybe this is sour grapes. I didn't want to win anyway. Yeah. Okay. Divvy up. This looks so weird. I don't know about horse story. Breakneck. Hmm. Yeah. I think we should probably take this out. This might be holding us back. Oligopoly. Hmm. Blink of an eye. Oh man, is this a trice? That means in a very short amount of time. Oof, that is a very tricky word. This could be prorate, maybe? Is this a horse opera? Oh my god. This is a very tricky little corner. Okay, this is going to be a rapid pace. This is definitely OPEC, yeah. And this was proms. Okay, so this is the Social Security Administration. That does make sense about baby names. All right, well, let's throw this S in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 22 minutes. Another lovely themeless puzzle today. Look at all these nice long entries. Sour grapes, horse opera, that's so funny. Seaweed salad, I love seaweed salad. This end up, front row seat. Private eye with this devious hidden proper noun. Demo lesson, these are great too. Bungee jump, smog alerts, I loved this wordplay clue. This is very tricky, notices as a plural noun. Advice guru, guinea pigs, yeah, there's a lot to like here. And we had plenty of tricky entries to keep us on our toes. We had trice, foment. This one was very tricky too. Transportation for a bride, a train, oh man. And this ended up being El Norte, the north. I suppose that does make sense. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed having a front row seat for that Friday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week this Saturday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.